In this video, we learn about the perfect squares. And in particular, we learn about the perfect squares formula. There are two. The perfect squares formula provide us with a quick way to expand binomials raised to the power of two. Now, what we mean by this is with this formula, we'll be able to expand anything looking like this, a plus b squared or a minus b squared. For instance, by the end of this video, we should be able to show that seven plus x squared is in fact equal to 49 plus 14x plus x squared, and we'll be able to do that quite quickly. Similarly, we'll also know how to show that 3y minus 5 raised to the power of 2, or squared, is the same thing as 9y squared minus 30y plus 25. Now, of course, we could do this just by distributing the two parentheses, but the perfect squares formula provides us with a much faster way of doing it. Now, here come the formula. Definitely make a note of these as we're going to be using them. We have a plus b squared, which is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And the second formula is a minus b squared, which is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now, do make a note of these as we're about to see a few worked examples with these two formula. Okay, so we've seen two formula, the first of which was a plus b squared equals to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now to use this, we typically expand things like, say, x plus 3 squared. Now we can see here that these both look similar, a plus b squared and x plus 3 squared. The only difference being we've replaced a by x and b by 3. So to expand this expression and to write all the terms, all we need to do is copy the formula, replacing every a we see by x and every b we see by 3. So that would be x squared plus 2 times x times 3 plus 3 squared. That leads us to x squared plus 2 times 3 is 6, so 6x plus 3 squared, which is 9. And we're done. We've just expanded and written all the terms of x plus 3 squared. Let's look at another example. Say we were asked to write all the terms in the expansion of 3x plus 5 squared. Well, in this case, again, this is similar to a plus b squared, and the difference being we've replaced a by 3x and b by 5. So once more, we can expand and write all the terms in this expansion using the formula a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, and simply replacing a, in this case, by 3x, and b by 5. So that would lead us to 3x in parentheses squared plus 2 times 3x times 5 plus 5 squared. Now, I'm just going to draw your attention towards one important fact here. This first term was written in parentheses because it is 3x which is replacing a. That's both 3 and x, so both of those need to be squared in this expansion. Now, keeping in mind that when we square parentheses, inside of which all terms are being multiplied, the power distributes onto each of the terms, so onto 3 and x here. So this leads us to 3 squared times x squared plus 2 times 3, which is 6, times 5, which is 30. So that's 30x, plus 5 squared, which is 25. Finally, this leads us to 3 squared, which is 9x squared, plus 30x, plus 25. And there we go. The second formula we saw was the following. a minus b squared equals to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And this is very similar. Let's say, for instance, we had to write all the terms in the expansion of x minus 3 squared. Well, in this case, again, we can see that all we've done is replace x a, sorry, by x, and b by 3. So we can just use this formula, replacing every a we see by x and every b we see by 3. So that would be x squared minus 2 times x times 3 
plus 3 squared. That leads us to x squared minus 2 times 3 is 6, so that's 6x, plus 3 squared, which is 9. One more example. Let's say we're asked to write all the terms in the expansion of 3x minus 6y squared. Now, in this case, we've replaced a by 3x and y by 6y, and b by 6y, that was. Now, using the a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, this leads us to, in parentheses, 3x squared minus 2 times 3x times 6y plus, in parentheses, 6y squared. Now, remembering that when we raise a parentheses to the power of 2 in which all the terms are being multiplied, the power distributes onto each term being multiplied. So that's going to apply on the 3x squared as well as on the 6y squared. We now carry on. That leads us to 3 squared times x squared minus 2 times 3, which is 6, times 6 again. So that's 36xy plus 6 squared y squared. Finally, we calculate the squares. 3 squared is 9, so that's 9x squared minus 36xy plus 6 squared, which is 36 again, so 36y squared. And there we have it. That's how we can use the perfect square formula to write all the terms in expansions of the type a plus b squared or a minus b squared. I hope that helps.